Hey guys, it's your boy B2 coming at you with a little Clicker Heroes update. And uh, it's going to be update 41 on the Clicker Hero series. So we're getting down to where really um, a pretty, pretty high level. And so, you know, the question becomes, how do I advance B2? How do I... I mean, I'm on my third transcension, like my fifth ascension on here, sitting right at a billion hero souls per ascension now, um, and it just keeps going up exponentially. And so we're kind of looking through here, um, sitting on, uh, I believe, 86% on achievements, uh, pretty much in the, in the, I, I would say, top 5, 10% of the game. Um, you know, it's not hard to, uh, to let it go, and we do an idle spec. Uh, so we just kind of play other games and jump in here and update and uh, and keep going. We got our little clan, little guild going as well. So uh, B2, if I'm going to ascend again at this level, like what am I going to look for and how am I going to increase? And so we're going to take a look at that real quick. Um, so right now uh, I'll, I'll show you my uh, my ancients here. I've got Argaev up at a pretty high level, about 5,500. And, um, and so this is the gilded damage bonus per guild, right? So if I look and say I'm going to get a, an 11,000% increase in damage per guild. So what does that mean? Like, I, I don't understand, B2. And I'll show you. If you pop down here and you look at Astria, we're going to do gilded. But you can see how you start to hit new levels and you start to get these little onesie twosies all over your board here, right? But look at Astria. I've got a plus 3E6%. Uh, bonus because of the guilds here and usually at the highest level I'm sitting on about 450 gilded heroes or so um, it does make a difference long term to have to the, you know run in this setup and use that and I usually just queue them and stack them all on one uh, in the beginning like when you have 5 10 50 heroes even a couple thousand heroes it, it doesn't make sense to move these guys around but once you're sitting on just like 48 million here in your in your bucket of hero souls it, you can move them around you can make a difference on them and that I'll let you guys determine that on your own so now if you look here I'm doing 100% of my damage through Astria right now and uh, if you look at the very bottom it's uh, plus 3.6 K damage right 3,000 damage which is actually 3 million damage like bonus because of the guilds on here so obviously like they do stack up and it does go but see I'm running out of steam here like I'm running out of uh, I'm running out of uh, damage and it's starting to slow down um, I'm having to wait on my mercs to come back they might not come back with money and this bar just isn't moving like it used to right so what do you do here like how how would I um, transcend or, or I mean how would I ascend and, and push this number up higher because after all the ultimate goal is to ascend for more heroes push the day you know push the damage up top and then uh, and then keep moving right so you, you want to get higher levels and advance in the game and that's kind of what we're looking for so if I look at here you can really fine-tune your damage and if I just go a couple at a time See how that damage is still, that damage goes up actually, same. And you're taking from your pool, so let's go 10. See the damage is still moving right here. And it's moving because of this gilded damage bonus. So normally if you apply out of here, this number goes down. But because we're putting it in. So let's slide down and look at Sigilatus. And you'll look, and he's a DPS one, right? So look. If I hit him, he's going down. See the damage goes down? So why would I put any more in Sigilatus right now? That's not a wise decision, so... Let's pop back up and go into Argaev, and look at this damage going up. Now the reason why, again, because all of our damage is down here in Astria. So we could just really pump up his damage. Let's just keep going. Boom, boom, boom. And you can see the bar down there at the bottom is actually speeding up slightly. So what I'll do is I typically run those out. Let's, let's, I think we can do 100 at a time with Z, I believe it is. Yeah, or a thousand, but uh, you get it. So bang, it still goes up. Oh, see it started to not go up as much. 7.9, 7.1. Oh, it's going down. So right here, we know that we've maxed out the Gilded Bonus once it starts going down on the idle. And then that would be your time to ascend. Let's see if we make one more purchase there. All right, good. So now we basically have run our damage up as high as it can. Uh, go and now on the next time we ascend 
you're going to see that damage up at the same level again, 2285. If we get to there, you're actually going to have a lot of hero souls here in this bucket and to therefore um, create that damage boost that you're looking for to push this number up higher, which is your Astral Rift. Um, however, we're still at a phase where we need to collect more hero souls for the Ascension. So we're going to come back through, hit the Ascension, and watch. Because we've built it up, we can go right down to the Mass Samurai and look at this level. We're pretty much off to the races, you know, at this point. So then you can do a Forest Wanderer. We're at level 3, and we're getting Bobby the Bounty Hunter already, you know. You can just see how fast this thing, uh, once you ascend, goes through. But look at this number. We're sitting at 1 billion Hero Souls. So now how do I take and 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 use those the most effective well i'll tell you you're gonna go down to solomon and let me see i still can't use the q to go up max um but i can do a thousand and we're gonna do a thousand three times so now we're at 1.92 e now this is going to make a huge huge difference at level 2300 when we pop up in there and we look at how many hero souls we're going to have at that point, it's going to be a lot more than 1 billion. It's probably going to be somewhere around the 1.7 billion range uh, just because we were at level 5,000 here and now we're going up to 7,500 there. So now the reason why I can say that is because if you look at your your transcension heroes here, your transcendent power, we've got a plus 24 or 200. 2.4 thousand so 2400 effectiveness of Solomon and that's what is important to go on your transcension so uh, so I hope this helps out like just the theory behind it the numbers behind it um, I'm sure there's more ways to tweak it even further and get more bang for your buck if you go on reddit and take a look at it but I can tell you that's how that's how I do it that's how I've always done it um, and we're clicking through the ascensions really, really fast here to, to boost up. So I hope that helps you. It was a lot of information and uh, about Clicker Heroes. If you haven't started playing the game and you want to, uh, make sure you follow along and watch some of my earlier videos. And I can tell you some of the great things I made and some of the mistakes I've made. So thanks for watching. Hit the sub button and I'll holla at you guys later. See ya.